guys, it's Lillian from the Postmodern Family, and we are going to bake a red velvet cake today. It is my first time ever baking a cake. Let me say that again. First time ever that I'm going to bake a cake from scratch. I'm doing this because Felipe requested a red velvet cake for his birthday, and I thought it would be more heartfelt and meaningful if I were to bake it myself, so let's hope it tastes good. The ingredients for the red velvet cake include 300 grams of plain cake flour, 10 grams of cocoa powder, unsweetened, five grams of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda, pinch of salt, 115 grams of unsalted butter, 330 grams of castor sugar, two eggs, 250 milliliters of vegetable oil, one teaspoon white vinegar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, 250 milliliters of buttermilk at room temperature, two and a half tablespoons of red food coloring, and if you're in the UK to use gel, and for the frosting, 400 grams of Philadelphia cream cheese, 115 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and 450 grams of soft icing sugar, Getting into my late 30s now, and I guess I figure I'd do some reflecting on this day I was born. I think like most people in, um, in my 20s, I dreaded getting into my 30s, 40s, and 50s, and getting old and getting um, sort of losing some vitality. But I, I must say that as I've entered my 30s and now past the mid, midpoint of the 30s, and having kids and a wife and everything and I've I've never felt better and I think um, I think it's true that people can age like wine and they just get better with age I've learned so much more in the past 10 years than I have in the previous 25 years right, so.
life is like uh, going towards a target, I suppose. And my, your whole, everyone's body and mind is built uh, for targeting and for approaching a target. And it just depends whether you deliberately choose that target, what criteria you use to choose that target, or whether you let something else or environment or choose the target for you. And so I feel like as uh, in the 30s, I'm able to be aware that life is about target selection. Everything else around you that's not part of the target on the periphery is fuzzy, is, is out of focus, um, because you, you can only, you, you have to focus on something. And by doing that, by virtue of focusing on something, you unfocus on other things, which means you become blind to those things. So I think in age, you become more and more acutely aware that you're blind to the things that you're not targeting. Uh, you develop better ways of targeting better targets, and you become aware of your blindness. So with that, I think I really appreciate getting older, and life is so much more joyful with a family, and I'm very thankful to God that uh, he's given me these things. And I enjoy this channel, and I enjoy interacting with you guys, and so I hope... Um, I hope you enjoy being here and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs>